Perhaps the horse will finally find happiness in 2023. Stay tuned to find out. Now, for those of you who are born under the sign of the horse, 2023 would be a rather fantastic year for you. And that is because you have the two most important things in life. Number one, the potential to make a lot of money. And number two, have great relationships. I mean, come on, right? You have money and you have relationships, it's going to be a happy year. But the question is, how do you get it? Now, this is important. In astrology, it's not about predicting that you know, this is going to happen to you. It's more like this is the energies that if you wish to, there are certain strategies and ways for you to get there. But if these energies are not available in the first place, then why? Then basically don't waste too much time, okay? But if you have this, then it'd be great if you have the right ways to get there. Firstly, let's talk about the moon. The moon is what we call the mastermind of money. It's an entrepreneurial star. So you will find that in 2023, you'll be thinking about, oh, you know, suddenly, you want to start your own business or you want to pursue a path of freedom. You want to be able to turn an opportunity that you see there's a problem out there and provide the solution and possibly make a profit out of that. So in many ways, you will see the possibility or at least have an urge to provide service or create a product to start your own thing. Okay, so if you are currently working for other people, then this will be a great year to utilize this particular star by starting a side gig. This is important, a side hustle. If you're working for others, start a side hustle. The secondary stream of income. This is the year for you to start. Now you may think, but the economy is not good, there are a lot of challenges. Hey, provide services, right? See what the problem in the economy and the market right now. Think about what service you can create or what you can provide to solve that problem. And therein lies your opportunity, all right? The moon basically represents the ability to see the gap in the market. And if you see it, it's up to you to be proactive to take advantage of that. That's the power of the moon. Now, traditionally, people say the moon entering the, the animal sign means that there are female helpful people. Now, that's bullshit, okay? That's basically some old, old way of looking at stuff. The moon is basically the ability to make money behind the scenes, okay? It's regardless of male or female. It's just the ability, the vibration and energy to be creative, to create solutions to problems that exist in the market. That's what it means, all right? And our sky happiness, on the other hand, are for those who seek long-term relationships, right? And if you look at traditional books of Chinese astrology, sky happiness always say, ah, it's a great year to get married. Listen, there are 12 animal signs. It cannot be only the horse should get married. The other 11 should just wait, right? I mean, that's nonsense. So this star basically indicates that um, it comes to a time where if you want to get married and start a family, it will be a fertile time. That's what it indicates here, okay? So if you have that inclination and you would like to bond with others on a long-term basis, this would be the gear for that. So if you're seeking someone to build a relationship with and you have the horse in your destiny chart, anywhere in your chart, not just in your year of birth. Listen, if you're new to astrology, you can have the horse in your month of birth, or your day of birth or hour of birth. You have four possibilities of seeing the horse, all right? So if you have this star, it is possible for you to build a long lasting relationship with somebody. One that you could rely on, one you could share your happiness with. Listen, what's the use of being successful in life if the person that you love don't love you back, right? If the person who you love or you want to love don't love you back, it's miserable to be rich, right? So this is the year that you could do that. You could find someone or build, create that opportunity for that person to also love you back. This is important, it's a two-way street. Love is a two-way street, all right? Not just one way. So you also gotta be willing to do something for other people. And here's the thing, right? If you look at the negative stars, there is one star called piercing rope. Now, piercing rope basically indicates, what it means is a rope that is holding up a person's neck. Now, it doesn't mean that, uh, that you are self-inflicting pain and all that. It does mean that you're giving yourself a lot of pressure a lot of restrictions internally and there could be negative self-talk that creates stress. Listen, a lot of people feel the pressure not because externally people are providing that, it's because internally the conversation is very dark. That's what the piercing rope, rope can mean. You create a pressure that is otherwise not there. It's an invisible rope that's tying you down to a place. 
So you need to cut that. In order to have great relationships, you have to be willing to be more giving, to be joyful, right? To be able to be the happiness in other people's life. Come on, right? If people look at you and be with you, they're happy. People want to stay with you. If people look at you and they feel gloomy because they look at your face and you have that somehow slap me face, right? Then, you know, it's going to be miserable being together with you. So, piercing rope is release that inner tension. Don't tie your own energies down. Be positive and vibrate a warm and happy feeling so that your potential suitor, right? Or your potential partner or your current partner feels pleasant and peaceful and happy to be with you, okay? That's very similar to the Hulk spirit because this star actually indicates a lot of uh, past mistakes and guilt. So somehow you possibly, maybe on a subconscious level, felt that you don't deserve certain success or certain ideas wouldn't work out when you want to pursue a business or you want to pursue someone and uh, pursue long-term relationship. Somehow you felt that it's karmic. Listen, whatever you feel that is karmic or in the past or whatever trauma or resentment that you faced before, that is very much an internal thing that you need to symbolically, internally cut. All right, cut that hook cut away that rope that ties you back and always understand that you have the freedom to choose how you want to vibrate emotionally and energetically to other people. So bring your A game this year, all right? Bring your A game to your work, bring your A game to your relationships and it will turn out fantastic for you. Don't worry about the negative stars. In fact, if you focus on using the good stars, 2023 will turn out to be a fantastic year for those born with the horse sign in their destiny chart. Now, remember, the horse can appear in four places in your astrology chart. The year of birth, the month of birth, the day of birth, or the hour of birth. Each one of these, where the horse appears, will mean different aspects are influenced in your life. Now, if you don't have your full astrology chart, what you need to do is go to see the link that is on the screen right now, go there, click on that, and go and plot your astrology chart. Once you enter your full year, month, day, and hour above, it will plot out the whole chart for you and you will see where the animal signs. And you'll be surprised, you actually have four different animal signs that are in your destiny chart. Now, if the horse appears in the year, then this year you might see a lot of your friends and family, they are reporting their happiness, right? So some people might get married, some people might have a grand kid, some people have a new relationship and so forth. So it's a happy thing, right? Or they're celebrating. So what you need to do is not sulk and say why happiness only happened to them. Don't worry. Life is like a magnet to you, right? You go and happy, happy with them, your life also become happy, yeah? So remember, you can rub off some happiness from other people. So go to happy places and then you magnetize because you have the sky happiness too. And then now you have, the, you have all these happy events for yourself as well, okay? So of course, don't go to all these miserable places and he cry, you cry, and everybody start crying. You have Now you magnetize all the negative stuff for you because that's what the hook spirit is about. It's about magnetizing the bad shit, right? Why don't you magnetize the good stuff, right? So that's what you need to do. And if the horse is in the career palace, that's the month of birth that you see right here. So in your work, there could be celebration, there could be new opportunities for you to discover a new revenue stream. That's the courtesy of the moon star for you this year. So you might be able to see, hey, you know, boss, there's a new way to make money. Or for yourself, you might see, ah, you know, I could actually start a new side gig, a new side hustle to make more money. All right. So there are many ways that are out there. The thing that you need to overcome is your shyness, number one, and number two, self-confidence, right? That, that's up to you, right? Confidence comes from practice. As you become more familiar with what you do, you become more confident, right? So if you practice a bit more, you'll be confident. You're not confident because you have not done it before. So how, do you, how else can you get confidence? Just look at other people who've done it, study how they did it, ask them for a little bit of advice, and you pursue one baby step at a time, and you will get there. Now, if the horse is actually in the, the day, now this will indicate that in your relationship-wise, a personal relationship, this will be the year for you to build a family or to build a long-term relationship or to strengthen the existing one. And if you don't have one already, this might be, be the year for you to consider building one. Listen, a lot of people cannot find one because they are finding, all right? You cannot find one because you're approaching this from the perspective of scarcity. Like you need to find someone to fit to you. You want to find someone who is suitable. You must first be the suitable one to them. So think about what areas in your life you should improve. 
how can you be the person to complete other people instead of finding someone else to complete? You may say, ah, but this is too difficult. Then stay alone, long. be single. Lah. Yeah? That's the thing. Well, be happy with being single. That's what you need to do. But if you say, no, I want to have a re- great relationship, then think about what value you bring to that relationship. What sort of happiness do you bring? Bring happiness. Don't bring that, oh no, I'm miserable. You need to take care of me because I'm vulnerable. Slap that vulnerable shit, all right? Stop being that. Be someone that brings happiness, strength, and confidence to other people, all right? That's how you use when the horse is in your your, uh, your spouse palace in the day pillar. And if the horse appears in the um, uh, our uh, pillar, um, that indicates that uh, in terms of uh, because sky happiness in our pillar represents children so if you are in a family you're starting a family you're expecting a, a kid well this might be a good sign for you so of course you have to try lah yeah you don't try then it's possible not to have one you can't just all of a sudden one day <gasps> become pregnant yeah not possible right so if the uh, if the horse is in the hour pillar, whether you are male or female, and if you are pursuing this actively, then the chances are high. And or if not, adopt one, right? A lot of ki- uh, kids out there who need your help. So adopt one, right? And if you see this in the luck pillar, this is the best, right? There are a lot of happy moments, happy events, uh, celebrate in other people's success, an opportunity for you to add value, to make a difference, to contribute. Yes, people will be asking you for money if you see in the luck pillar, but it doesn't matter if you Whatever you give out that makes a difference to the society that you live in, the community that you live in, is going to come back in some ways to you, okay? So think about that and um, live this life that makes an impact for other people. Now, if you want to find out more about the other animal signs that's possible that is in your destiny chart, go to this link that you see on the screen or click on it that you see on the link that's on your comment section right now and you can download the notes. It's called the Driver's Guide. Driver's Guide is our guide on the 12 animal signs and the full write-up so you can read about it or you can watch the other animal sign videos that we, me and my team have created and learn a little bit about how each sign works in your destiny chart. And if you have not already done so, please smash the like button right now to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, if you are not already subscribed, please also click on the subscribe button and hit the bell button at the same time so that you get notified every time me and my team will upload a Feng Shui and Astrology video about 2023, okay? So on behalf of me and my team, here's wishing you a fabulous, lovely, healthy year of the water rabbit.